What's up everybody and welcome back to more Let's Play Jurassic World. So, when we last left off, we did, or I did ask you guys if we could hit, um, I don't know, we just had a like goal, and unfortunately, we did not surpass our previous like goal, and we only got 30 likes in the last episode, which, it, it could be worse, it could be worse, and I'll explain the glitchiness in a second, but, um, yeah, I th it, it could be worse. So, what we're gonna do is open two lucky blocks for that, but I really think you guys can pass 30 likes on the next episode, or on this episode, rather. So, let's see, can we do it? I mean, we should set some crazy goal for this, um... I don't know, if we, if we pass 50 likes, if we pass 50 likes, I'll do a live stream of the ne next Jurassic World episode. So you can hold me to it, and um, I, I I like that. We'll do an hour-long live stream of the next Jurassic World episode. So an hour-long special, and uh, yeah, but there's uh, quite a few things I do want to show you guys today. So first and foremost, what I have to show you is, that tree looks very nice right now, we got to open up our lucky blocks. So as I did say, we did hit 30 lakes. So we're going to open up two lucky blocks for that, but no super lucky block or unlucky block. So let's place these down. We'll place the first one down right there. And we'll break it with the diamond pickup. We got a diamond shell. Actually, that's like pretty good. All right. So let's place down another lucky block and we got a bow, a lucky bow. Holy crap. That's really good. <laughs> Oh my god, that's a really, really good bow. Alrighty then, so I'm just going to keep this in my inventory, along with the diamond shovel. Uh, honestly, our regular meteorite shovel is about to break, so wow, that actually was really, really good. Um, some other things I do want to show you though, I did enchant a sword, we got 30 levels, and I got fire aspect 2, sharpness 3, and knockback 2, so pretty good, and I did make a Krakenite, Krakenite sword, we got fire aspect 2 on that. Other than that, nothing has, I haven't done too much craziness off camera, I did plant a bunch of these saplings, because these trees are freaking awesome, but something did start somewhere else, um, on the map, the guys on the server, we have actually started building the Jurassic World, so I'm gonna go try and travel over to to that right now as you can see i did breed some of the pit well as maybe you can't see yeah i did breed some of the pigs so they're over there i'm going to travel over this way though because uh, this is where the jurassic world is and if you see the chunk loading being a bit odd essentially i set it to preload chunks and uh yeah that's why things keep glitching out but it's really nice when you're flying and you can just see out super far like i'll show you an example in a second once we get over there but i don't know i, I really like being able to see super duper far on here oh it looks like a meteorite crash right there that's not good oh i probably should have took the horse huh oh wait what's that have we explored this area for already i don't know about that actually so let's go travel over this way oh wait, yeah look at this wait is this a village i don't know what this is this is actually looking pretty cool is this someone's house i don't think so these are just some randomly generated things. So let's whip out our Krakenite and Diamond Sword. These things are so good. I was uh, I was playing with them earlier, and they kick butt. They are really, really strong. So I don't know what this is. This might be... Um... Oh, it's a spawner. We have skeleton monster spawners and some books. So it looks like this is unexplored. But this is actually like... We could get some good experience here. And we did... Oh, God. Oh, God. They're spawning. Oh, my... Oh, he has explosive arrows. No. Die, skeletons. Fortunately, we do have some, like, op armor. But, uh... Honestly, we could just like we could hang out here for a little while and we could uh we could kill quite a few people. Wait, does this Krakenite sword not take damage? I don't know about that. We're gonna have to set a we're gonna have to set a spawn or a waypoint here. So waypoints um four X skeleton spawner. And we could turn that off because I don't want to see that all the time. But that's pretty cool that we actually just found that. I, I may have to come back there later. So we do have so many weapons. Thank god for the weapon mod there. And uh yeah, so I'm going to continue to travel this way. Oh, wait, what's that? Yeah. Dude, we are uh, only like five minutes in the episode. And we're already finding all these cool things. So let's see what's going on here. And, oh. Another music disc. We do have tons of these things already. Some sticks, some cobblestone. And, oh, look, there's more down here. I think someone may have been here already. This is just like a randomly floating, like, castle keep thing. There's no, um... There's no mob spawners or anything. So I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Someone must have looted the other one, too, I suppose. So, all around, that is quite nice. I don't know. I know the Jurassic World opening is over here somewhere. I forget where it is exactly. I don't know. I'll go try and find it, and I will come back. Actually, you know what? No. What we're going to do first is we're going to go check out our f little exhibit that we did start. Um, where is it? Oh, exhibit. So, we'll teleport to the exhibit here, and uh, I don't want to take out my swords because I don't actually want to hit these guys. But, as you can see, we do have our baby tyrant or 
baby triceratops here and they are still doing well nothing has really changed with them i uh, have been making sure to keep an eye on them and they haven't you know everything's been relatively the same so if we whip out our dinopedia as you can see they are eating they are uh they, again this chunk isn't staying loaded because uh, i've been away from so now that i got that out of the way we are back at the enchantment table as you can tell, and uh, essentially what I want to do is enchant this dirty shovel. This dirty shovel? I don't... Diamond shovel? Not dirty. I, I hope it's not dirty. Okay, so yeah, I want to enchant this diamond shovel. And um, well, I'm going to go for a level 30 enchantment, and we'll see what we get. Because this one's almost broken. I'm kind of nervous. Uh, oh. Oh my god. Fortune 3 and breaking 3, efficiency 4, magneti magnetization 4? Holy crap. That's a good shovel. Oh my god. All right. So, now let's go check on these little dudes again because I did uh, I did hang out here a little while, so I, I they may have uh, actually leveled up a little bit more. So, let's see. Where did they go? Mm. Hello, Triceratops. I feel like we should name these guys. Oh, there they are. Oh, yeah, look, he did he definitely did get uh, older. Oh yeah, he's two days old now. So, yeah, as I was saying, I was hanging out over here a little bit working on some other stuff. And wait, where's your brother? Wait. Wait. Oh, no. Wait, did he? No. No. I'm, I'm literally, like, speechless right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. He died. Did you... Did you kill him? What happened to him? Oh my god. Dude, what? I This is so sad. We're going to have to make a grave. I did this is I, I don't know how he died. He might I don't think he starved to death unless he drowned, but I tried to make it kind of drown proof. Oh no. I'm so sorry, man. I like that must have been so traumatic for you. Oh man. Dude, I'm I'm sorry. Here have some uh so Ron Fla oh wait eh, that's awkward all right well I'm sure he'll get over it relatively shortly so what I want to do is you can see something right there and it is something I do want to go over in this episode so yes as you guys may have heard I don't know how you would have heard actually because I've never said it before but if you guys do watch my sub or some of my other series there's time and he's the guard and there's Rob he's the other guard and they're dancing that's what they're doing. As you guys may have watched in my Pixelmon Survival series with the Iron Mango, I did start a little subscriber shop thing, and I do want to carry it over to my Jurassic World series because I really do like how it works. So as you can see in this village over here, we did create a little subscriber shop, as you can see, and we have subscriber John in there. So essentially how this is going to work is in the subscriber shop, we're going to be able to buy all kinds of different things. Right now, we just have Lucky Blocks because I want you guys to comment down below what you want to see me add to the shop. So if we get some good suggestions, I will put them in here. And uh, I actually got something else to go over with the comments in a little bit. But uh, hello, J subscriber John. How are you doing today? But what we can do now is every 10 likes will actually give us a, uh, a, a one of these little things so let's see we got 31 likes on the last episode guys which as I was saying before not the greatest but not the worst either so if we open this as you can see we got three bronze coins so essentially as you saw before and let's actually delete that as you saw before I can go in here and spend my bronze coins at this guy so we can get an unlucky block for one's bron one bronze coin or a lucky block for two bronze coins, or a very unlucky block for more. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to do that, and I'll save my other bronze coin, and we can spend it next episode, maybe. And again, comment down below if you want to see me add some stuff to the shop. But as I was talking about before, there is some other stuff to do with comments. So if we run into this place right here, we do have Juice Head the subscriber edition. So essentially what I also want to do, if you guys do leave some cool comments, I'm not going to do this every episode, but every few episodes, I'm going to go through the comments and if I find some cool ones, I'm going to create a little custom NPC of you guys. So as you can see, we do have the Juice Head NPC right here and he should say some stuff if we uh, hang out for long enough. But essentially what I'm going to do is again, leave some cool things down below. So for this episode, I'm going to ask you guys, what do you want to see in that shop? And if you guys leave a cool suggestion and uh, I like it, Maybe I'll make a little custom NPC of you, and uh, you guys can even suggest, maybe you want to give me a quest, maybe you want to let the NPC give me an item, you could suggest anything you want, and uh, I'll try and oblige through the mod. 
So, the little juice head subscriber was supposed to say something to me, but he doesn't seem to be. Um, I can't hit him. But maybe if we uh, exit the building and come back in again? Oh, juice head? Juice head, did he say it before? Hello, Juice said. No, I don't. Juice said, why aren't you talking to me? So essentially, what he was supposed to say, if uh, he did oblige, looking at you, man, uh, he was going to tell me to go to the subscribe or go to check out the Jurassic World, which I did find a way for, or I did find where it was. I figured it out finally. So we're going to go check out the progress on that, as we can teleport here, and we do have to open my lucky block also. So as you can see. It's pretty nice so far. So these doors will, these doors were built by Mavoda, who, as I did say in a lot of other episodes, he's an awesomely well, awesomely well. He's a very good builder. So uh, big props to him. His channel is in the description along with everyone else in the series. So make sure to check them out. As you can see, it's really, really nice. I really like the doors so far, and they look a lot like the Jurassic World doors. And as you can see, we got a little ro road lines in the middle because we're gonna have a road going in here. And there's gonna be a big community project between all of us. We're gonna make sure to spawn lots of dinosaurs in, create tons of really cool exhibits, and all all around it's gonna be really exciting so as you can see we do have some module door assembly that's to make the doors open and close and then over here we do have the start of a gate which is made by the famous films that's the inside I believe and this is the outside so this is what we'll see and as the dinosaurs we'll see the other side so I gotta admit it does look quite nice it looks very accurate I really like the redstone torches on the top too to just add that extra level of detail again this is all work in progress though and all subject to change and essentially what we're gonna try and do is just kind of build that out all over here Oh, is that someone claimed that already? I don't know. We'll have to go check that out. But and then we got this over here, which is just your boring old uh, little little fossil and archaeology spawn thing. These things just naturally spawn. We do have some sheep farms over here. I think this is actually right next to the spawn, or is this? A spawn? I don't know. Maybe not. Um, I know we spawned next to one of these. As you can see, we got some cows over here, and I got some poisonous potatoes. In what is this? I don't know. Oh, is this milk? Wait, is that really milk? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, yeah, I can't drop stuff because I have the magnetism. Yay. So, you know, touch, break anything. This house for be the Jurassic Park we'll be building. Um, Jurassic Park house. So, as you can see, that's how you know it's official. And, oh, what the hell? I want it. I want it. I want it. Whose are those? Oh, my God. That's so many. Well, that's how you get 12 levels really quickly. Oh, more. 13 levels really quickly. Holy crap. Whose orberry bushes are those? Those things are OP. All right. So we're going to travel over this way. I don't actually know what this tree is. Oh, I, I did. See, I think these trees just naturally drops, drop saplings or something because I found a bunch of them. So I planted a bunch of them in front of my house. I, I think I talked about that earlier in the episode and uh, materials for future dino zoo. So we got some safari nets because we're going to need some of that. And we're going to, again, it's a community project. So we're going to try and get some stuff to contribute to that. I think I'm going to contribute a bunch of the, uh, of the DNA I found. So uh, we're going to try and like smelt it, I don't know, cultivate it all out, and then we'll try and place it in there. As you can see over here, I just want to give you guys a little scope of the area and show you what's going to go on. I did update my shaders also, so that's why the lens flare is there. I, I have to do a little tweaks on it though, so it should change a little bit in the next few episodes. I don't like certain things about them, so uh, I'm going to do that. But look at that. Look how beautiful it is. Just wait till this is all like, covered with dinosaurs. That'll look awesome and if we go down here as you can see we got the little the little mayan temple style thing right there and actually i do have to work on a farm a little bit soon so as you can see this is all relatively close to my phone uh to my home that's the park we're going to be doing it in and or that's one of the forests we're going to be doing it in and over here we should just be doing all kinds of dinosaurs hopefully one day we'll be able to log on and just see dinosaurs roaming free around here and hopefully like a minecart system so you could uh, travel through that through it and all that and that's another guy's house that's the house that lives right behind me so my house is like right over there we just can't see that far so now that i am a bit of a ways away i didn't want to open it too close i'm going to try and open this lucky block oh god power creeper powered creeper you know what power creeper what do you got on me Oh, ho, ho, ho. and we did get a creeper head from that so that wasn't that good of a lucky block open um but you know what i got a creeper head so i'm gonna go post this in my house because uh, i want to post it valiantly and we'll teleport to my temp home which is actually kind of my permanent home now and you know what oh i should probably put a sign saying this is my house i must have a sign somewhere but that is i didn't really have a game plan for this episode i was gonna just try try and wing it i knew i wanted to go over all that other stuff for the beginning part and we'll say juice heads house because i'm sure i think actually a lot of people know i live here but in case anyone did not know we can do that see like the torches aren't that bright in this uh the new shader update not a huge fan about that i did also breed some pigs i don't know if i showed you guys that already um 
Oh yeah, look at that one. I didn't see this one. That has the leprechaun thing. There's always the other thing. I did make some new batteries too. But as you can see, we did breed all these pigs. I do want to plant some carrots in my farm though. So let's go do that. I have harvested the farm once and we got a ton of uh, things. So, you know, I did say we need some food, but I guess we really don't. I didn't actually think about it that much. But uh, we'll proudly present our creeper head there. <laughs> so uh, I think I put the carrots in here. Um, yeah, there you go. Oh, I had some on me anyway. Um, oh, that was probably from my time spent in the other village. So let's go uh, harvest some of these. Not too much of them, but uh, and then I want to play some play some carrots down. Oh no, don't eat the carrots. Don't do that because I do want to try and um, breed as many of these pigs as possible because I would like to get this place fully packed of pigs because these will actually let me. Oh. Oh god, see all the Oh, see the funny part is you could actually make the top ones breed too. So uh kind of weird. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I don't have one for that pig. Oh, so one pig will be lonely, but that's okay. But what I think I do want to do today is take Rex out for a little spin, and I want to go try and find a cool go on a little bit of an adventure. So, oh wait, I can't get him back in here though. Hmm. All right, Rex, we'll wait for the next episode because I'm going to try and make a door off camera for you. But uh yeah, for the time being Let's go over back in our house, and I think I want to start working on some of this witchery stuff. Uh, maybe not. Maybe the tinkerer stuff. So I think I want to make a tinkerer's table, and I don't know if we have the resources for that, but we may. No, tinkerer's table. I know it's called like something like uh, a tinkerer's table, so I'll come back in a second. So I completely forgot that Tinker's Construct actually has this book and you spawn with it, but obviously we started the series a long time ago and have since misplaced the book, but it appears we could actually just open to the same page. Oh, it doesn't. Damn it. But uh, it appears we can make some of this stuff right. What? King Slime. What? Where? I don't know. I'm scared now. I don't see it. Is he up there? Oh, he is up there. Oh my God. The King Slime. Wait, let me close my door. Why did King Slime spawn? I don't know, but we're going to have to go kill him. Oh my, King Slime, what are you doing? <laughs> King Slime, what are you... What? King Slime just jumped off of the thing. What the hell? Okay, well, we're going to go try and go to da battle with King Slime with our two op swords. Oh, it does look like a Kraconite pickaxe. does take damage. Oh my god, King Slime, stop it. Brad King Slime. Oh, I'm in the wrong swords. So, uh, I mean, the real difficult part here is all the other mobs that are trying to battle us here, but uh, King Slime, back off! Oh my god, whoa, he did a lot of damage there, that is actually kind of scary, because, yeah, I have, like, super good armor on, and he's, like, killing us, so we're gonna have to fly up into the air a little bit, uh, let me, oh god, oh god, oh god, someone's shooting me, let me get the, uh, let me get the bow out of my backpack because this thing is getting scary, actually. Sorry. So let's put these two books in here for the time being. So this is an op bow. We don't have infinity. Oh, we do have infinity one on it. I didn't even realize we had infinity one on it. So, uh, oh, wow. We can use this then. Oh, my God. That bow. Holy crap. I didn't realize that bow was that good. Look how good this thing is. All right. Well, we did kill King Slime and he did drop all his little slimelets. So we're going to have to go down there and kill him. Let's actually do. Let's stop cheating. We're being cheap. Let's give these zombies a fair fighting chance. So, oh god, oh god, not the spiders though. We don't like the spiders. Oh god, the spiders set me on fire. Oh no, I hit myself. I hit myself. All right, we're gonna fly down into the water. Uh, okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. There's tons of mobs. Tons of mobs. I'm on fire again. I'm on fire again. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. I think some of them are hitting me. Some of them are hitting me. Someone's definitely hitting me. Okay, we're gonna fly back up. <laughs> Looks like they decided to start attacking. Oh, what is this? I think this heals me. Oh, there you go. Well, that works nicely. I actually think I have another one of those, but it looks like a lot of the baby slimes or the slimelets are actually dying now. So I think I want to go pick up all the experience though, because I think it does give me quite a bit. And is that a slimelet? No, this is just some random fire on the ground. The slimelets are everywhere, man. <laughs> oh my God, that guy has the same hat as me. Let's kill him. Die, only one may wear our hat. Okay, this is turning into a lot more than I thought it would be. So as you can see, there are a lot of mobs about. So actually this thing is going to come in handy right now. Boom. And we'll do that again. Boom. And one more time. Oh, I, I missed. I missed. Whoops. All right. One more time. Boom. There you go. So there may only be one of me. And we're going to go around and just kill all the little slimelets. As you can see, we're just going to stab them really quickly. And oh my god, we are getting lit on fire. Thank god we have like good armor. I think there's a flaming skeleton behind me. So hopefully... Oh my god, we're already almost up to the high, a high enough level to re-enchant. So this is actually really good. Because oh my god, look how much experience we're getting. Holy crap. Oh my god, but look how many mobs there are. Thank god for op swords, man. Oh my god. Look at this. I'm trying to kill as many as I can. Uh, let's actually try and kill that skeleton over there. 
And let's uh, switch back to the bow, actually, because I think this might do more damage. Alright, so we're just going to shoot these guys, and if we set them on fire, we should be able to kill them relatively easily. Holy crap! I'm trying to kill them all! Oh, I think the little slimes are killing me. Oh, wait, this is actually, like, this lucky bow is really, really good. Some of, yeah, definitely one of those skeletons, though, is shooting me. Oh, it's that one. I see him. Yeah, we got him. We got him. There you go. So, I didn't miss. I barely missed right there. Fortunately, there's a lot of mobs out here. Oh, my God. Yeah. Look how many levels I got. And I don't even think I picked up a lot of those um, things. So, I think it just bounced. Did it just bounce off of that one? I don't know. It might have. So, let's finish him off. He should die from the burn now. We'll finish that one off. And it looks like this became in, like, to a total battle episode. Look at the wasteland there. So we'll kill that creeper over there because he's, uh, I don't know, he's scary looking. <laughs> and uh, yeah, look at all this. Uh, look at all this. Oh my God. Look at all this experience we just got. Holy crap. So uh, yeah, I don't think we should have too much trouble with leveling up here. And let's actually try and hit that guy and hit him one more time. And there you go. And uh, look at my bow skills. <laughs> I actually was, uh, I had like relatively good accuracy there. Kind of impressed with myself. Not gonna lie. So we'll try and kill that guy. I think I'm lagging a little bit. Probably from all the epic mob killing going on. So let's finish him off as well. I do have to eat, but um, yeah, well, so much for getting into tinkerers. Jeez. Looks like uh, King Slime decided to show up and destroy everything around us. So not entirely sure with what that was going on with or what was happening there. So let's finish them off. They should all actually burn to death, I think, now. And we can finish that last one. Oh, we accidentally hit the wrong one. Oh, my God. There's Look how much damage that did. That did 18 damage. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Whoa, whoa. That zombie's actually really scary. Oh, skeleton. Oh, skeleton. Ow, that guy hit me? How did he hit me? He should die. Boom. Boom. Oh, where's the other one? There he is. Boom. Oh, what's on his head? That actually looks really cool. He should die. There you go. And I, I kind of want to get to level 30 now, and we should enchant another pickaxe, actually, because I did want to do that kind of before, but I didn't have enough levels. So actually, yeah, let's go for that. Let's try and hit level 30. Unfortunately, it's becoming daytime right now, I believe. So we got to be really swift about this and try and kill as many of these mobs while they still can be spawning. And someone's shooting me, I think. Oh, there's a spider. A speed spider? Oh my. Oh, we did get another creeper head there. That's pretty good. So uh, we are at level 29. Uh, right now, oh, we gotta make sure to kill all King Slime's little slimelets again. Oh, just kidding. We should have plenty of experience here. Oh my goodness, look how much experience there is. Holy crap. Alright, we'll kill this guy, hopefully. No, the experience! <gasps> oh my god, we got owned by a creeper. That's so depressing. Well, all the experience will hopefully still be there. I think I'm... What, what's going on? What is going on? What is occurring? Oh no, we should kill him. There you go. Blame the lag. That's why That's why the creeper killed us. Not because we actually deserve to die. Oh no, hopefully we can pick up at least most of my experience. I was so excited. I was just talking about how excited I was to enchant. And then we get blown up by a creeper. That's so depressing. Alright, so I did die right over here. I do believe. So there seems to... Oh, yep, it literally right here. Oh, we're not getting nearly the experience back. Luckily, I did keep a lot of it from the keep inventory. But does not look like we're going to be able to enchant now. That's kind of sad. I was really looking forward to him. That's a big one. So, oh, yeah, that gave me a whole level. We're still really, really close. Oh, no, he died. Um, Let's see. He probably dropped some experience. Oh, no, but, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to enchant. Unfortunately, holy crap, that is a nice-looking desert. I want to put an exhibit there. Oh, my God. Dude, this... I'm so excited to film the series, but I think we're going to end the episode here, guys. Unfortunately, we did not get enough experience to enchant and um but next episode we should have more than enough experience uh by the start of next episode because i'll get some of the ore berry bushes and all that jazz but as always i thank you guys for watching i do hope you enjoyed we have to kill one of the last slimelets that king slime did leave behind and oh what's going on there what if they, they spawned the smaller ones but yes again as always thanks for watching i do hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you all next time